All right, so with two of the new cards, they are hinting at possibly one of the upcoming champions. Do you think the new Frail Yord bird is teasing Volibear Bear as a no Frail Yord champ? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk about. Two cards in particular that we need to talk about. This is the first one, the bird, and the second one is uh, is this one. So, okay. This is, uh, this is the Fralyord card. This is a 5-mana 3-2 that plays um, Avalanche. I don't, I don't think it's a great card. I don't think it, it, it really makes a lot of sense right now. Usually having an effect on the unit is really good. But that's not what we're going to talk about here. Uh, this is a Volibear card. It's like the, um, the, the Thunder, the Lightning. That is, I don't know the exact implications on this... Bert being possibly a Volibear follower, uh, but uh, you know, th this is teasing, teasing Volibear. And then here we have Janna. Janna in the background. Janna is like the the, the wind goddess of Zon or something, right? I'm also not super up to date on that. Lady Pickle, thank you for the 36 months. Goddamn. Thank you for uh, thank you for the prime money. So these are the two cards. I don't think there's really anything else that might be teasing another champion that's upcoming. Like, there is maybe this one. Could be a Yuri card. I'm not sure. Jen is a Spirit of the Wind. All right, perfect. So, what these two cards have in common, and what's interesting is that we have seen kind of like a theme with the expansions, where we had the, the fighter expansions, just champions that like to punch and smash. Then we had the Ishtali jungle. What if this one, what if this expansion is just like, yeah, storms, like just, just natural disasters. What if it's Janna, Volibear as like the storm champions, and then we get a third one. I can't think of another real storm champion. Maybe it's going to be a Rune Terra exclusive. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Crow Storm? Hold on. Fiddlestick does have Crow Storm. Okay. That's it. It's got to be Fiddlesticks. That's it. That's got to be it, right? Okay, so to accompany this, uh, I know Twisted has uploaded another video, and they're always bangers. So I say we watch that one. What is a sleeper card you feel people are overlooking? Uh, Pantheon. <laughs> I think about a nine months. I think Pantheon is a good card. So let me, let me look at Twisted's channel, and let's watch that video. What's I haven't seen this one yet, but I love Twisted's channel. Uh, please subscribe. Like, comment. Everyone, I'm Twisted, and the new variety patch for Legends of Runeterra just got revealed. The last variety patch had some teasers for Nidalee and Niku, so it's very likely that this patch is going to have some teasers for upcoming champions as well. As per usual, I'm not really here looking at mm -hmm. the gameplay or like the mechanics of each card. I'm much more no, interested in the lore, which means I'll be looking at the artwork and reading the flavor of each card. Without further ado, let's begin. Divine Draft. Okay, so this is a PNZ card. It seems to be someone using some kind of magic. Most Piltovans could care less about the patterns of the wind, but for many Zonites, even a stray breeze That's smells Jana, of salvation. Right? Okay, so this is very clearly a teaser for Janna. Yep. I wasn't expecting Janna to be a Piltovan champion, and she might still not Rune be. Terror would have made this sense could too. very well just be a spell that could be played in her deck, and she could be a Rune Terror champion. Yeah, this so. Also, really fast, it is important to say that with the Heart of the Huntress expansion, we had a variety patch four weeks before that expansion came out, before we had any idea what we were, what we could expect. And that introduced the subtypes, the reptile, uh, pack attack, which were very clearly references to both Nico and Nidalee. And we didn't even see Nico or Nidalee in the art. It was just all speculation at that point, but it just made sense. This time we get variety cards, and we can just straight up see Janna here we, we can this is the first time we see Janna in a cart and we have a very very obvious reference to Volibear so <laughs> I think a storm expansion would be really cool I think it would make sense September is when the new expansion comes out and that is a month before the spooky season October I was really hoping for you know just a horror expansion like give me fiddlesticks give me Morgana give me Silas or something but, you know, uh, whatever. This is cool, too. Also, Janna is another humanoid champion, which I am a little bit disappointed about. I, I, I absolutely do not, like, just dismiss a card or possible direction for a card just because it is X champion But I would have liked Zack 
or Twitch or Urgot, you know, something a little less humanoid, a little more monstery for the Piltover and region, because that's primarily what they have and what they've been doing. Yeah, Warwick, exactly Warwick. Um, again, sad to see that it looks to be Janna. However, that says nothing about what her card or text or effect or archetype will do. So for all I know, you know, uh, maybe I'll end up liking this card. It's very likely more. just Janna in the artwork as well. Very interesting. Crimson Banquet Hall. So this is very clearly a Vladimir card. Come, my friends, sit. Okay, okay, the okay. Never mind. This is uh, this is a review. I thought uh, <laughs> Twisted was going to talk about the champions that are in here, which is uh, which is fine. But if it's just a card review, you know, I've done the review and my takes are always correct. So let's leave it at that. But I'm I'm pretty interesting. What do you guys think these cards champions could do if we get Jan and Volibear as champions? We can already kind of look at like what is the effect of these cards and what could that mean with N nico we clearly had the subtypes and she care a lot about subtypes i think with this card and the fact should we sub this channel absolutely yes i'm going to link it again so with this card and throw bulwark it looks like it is going to be like just damage everywhere like just board wipes on both sides um and that could mean that it will push more into like a control direction I am very excited about a Falyard Piltover deck potentially because I think that is a region combination that has not been explored enough at all. And I'm not going to count like the Ezreal Elnok deck in beta. I'm not... I mean, I, I will count Timo and Sejuani. That was a cool deck. Uh, puff caps to level Sejuani, also with the Ballistic Bot. Sweet deck. Love that. But those all felt really like... Um, really specific. Like they only cared about one thing. So... Nar Victor. It was Udir Victor. Udir Victor is another one. I like that one a lot too, but it wasn't it wasn't a meta deck. It was never like really super like pushed. It was just a cool meme deck that were, was able to hold its own. But with this, it looks like we're getting like a clear direction. The regions are both getting things that they can be good at, and it looks like they can both be good at that and have like an actual deck archetype that is meant to be played. So yeah, exactly. There hasn't really been a meta Freljord PNZ deck, which uh, I hope we could see here. And having a deck called like a storm deck now i don't play magic i think storm is like super controversial in uh oh actually we had timo uh timo piltover with timo piltover failure actually that was kind of a meta deck that was a meta deck for a little while so that is that is actually one of them that that was a meta deck i forgot about that one uh oh eternal timelines actually Trumlo eternal timelines too yeah no okay I, I missed two of them those were absolutely very very good decks that i missed yeah okay fair uh good that's that's great. So I, I I hope that with this though we're we're getting less of a gimmick. Timelines felt like a gimmick. Puff caps felt like a bit of a gimmick. But this is like if this is like a a, a deck that has multiple tools to support an archetype, I, I would be all for that. And calling something a storm deck would be really cool. I I don't play magic again. I heard storm is a bit uh, degenerate there. No, I don't know if that's true. That's all. That's all I hear. Uh, something about storm count or something. Somebody's gonna have to explain that one to me later. But. This just looks so cool, like Janna with the tornadoes, Volibear with the lightning, super, super cool. Like, look at this, man. Look, 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 look at his art here. Storm is degenerate. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So, yeah, if uh, if Volibear is about, like, what if Janna had an effect? Like, Janna is a support in League of Legends, right? What if she had an effect where it's like you can't damage your own units? I, I think we can just forget about Nunu because it looks like we're getting Volibear with this. Uh, this this is just like all these cards are very much pushing in the direction of Volibear. And Nunu would be the other Freljord champion. And if they release Nunu, I'm going to assume it will be around the release of Song of Nunu. It might it might even be a lot later than that. Actually, they might release Nunu later. I thought the same thing with Silas. I was hoping Silas would come out around the uh, Mate Seeker game. I farted Sloppy 20 Troll Gas. <laughs> sloppy Walrus. Uh, so yeah, what if Janna like protects her own units for being damaged by effects like Avalanche, Icequake... This turn your uh your your just like general board wives like your both sides your board sweeps that hit you and the opponent only hit the opponent. I think uh, I think that would be pretty cool. That that is my guess for this direction. This this card is a bit weird. Like deal one to an enemy and then again is kind of strange. Which region hasn't gotten their champion? Uh, Freljord, Piltover, Shadow Isles, Targon. Vandal City, I think that's it. Oh, Demacia. So this looks to be Fraljord pilt over, and it seemed like they were going to have a big focus on Rune Terror champions. So uh, they might just have another Rune Terror champion to go with this. I hope it's okay. I want to say I hope it's not a Rune Terror exclusive, but I shouldn't say that because I think the Rune Terror exclusives have been done really well. 
Uh, Kill was last year, yeah. Kill was the last set. So Targon has not yet received a champion. And I think that it is really likely that for Targon, it is going to be Tiari. I think we'll get an LOR exclusive every expansion this year. I think that's really likely too, yeah. I feel pretty confident that that will be the case. But Valibir and Janna, what could this deck possibly be? I think these are like too broad. I don't think these are too specific. Like, I don't think we can really say anything from this card because it's Avalanche on a stick. I don't think this will be like, oh, the archetype is about this. I also think this is a way to like general. This is just a good card. But I, hmm, I don't know what this could possibly be. More, more spell decks though. I, I was excited last time we got a support champion in the game too with Yumi and Nami. But we all know how that one turned out. Like, it's funny because when Runeterra prints support champions, it is very much like, oh, these support champions are good at supporting your other cards. Guess what cards like to be supported? Elusive cards. <laughs> now, I, I think buffing might not be a thing in Piltover, so maybe Janna won't be such a big worry. Something that we have to get headaches over. But still, I'm, I'm curious. It will be about three weeks from now until we start seeing new cards, new spoilers. So be exciting. Be exciting time.